Hi everybody, Matt here. I know that I haven't made a video in quite some time. Uh, basically, I have moved to a new city. You've probably found that out if you've been following the stream and stuff like that. Uh, but I wanted to make a video talking about my hopes for Zack in Final Fantasy VII Remake Part 2. Now, if you've beaten Final Fantasy VII Remake, you know that what Zack is or what they plan to do with him is very cryptic. I had, I had no idea how to phrase that because it's just, it's so shocking if you actually beat the game and when you see him there and what it all means, there's just so much to interpret, but uh, I guess if we're going on the basis of him being alive and him being a small part or even a big part of Final Fantasy VII Remake Part 2, this is what I am hoping they do with Zack. So what I'm about to say now as like the very first point of this video is harsh, but it needs to be said. And I'm not gonna back down on it, I'm not gonna, you know, you're not gonna change my mind, nothing. But the voice actor for Zack in Final Fantasy VII Remake is atrociously bad and he can't be the voice of Zack in Part 2. I mean, do I have any power over this situation? No, I don't, but... We can all agree that, you know, we all have qualms about whether the you know original cast should have returned or if the new cast is better and all this stuff, but this voice, like, can't stay in the game. This is, like, one of the worst castings I've ever seen in voice acting in a video game in my whole life. And I've been playing video games for a pretty long time. Uh, it just, it's strange that they chose this voice because it's not very reflective of the character. Now the character is cheerful and kind of a good guy, a nice guy and stuff like that, but he's not a teen. He's not an as he's not an adolescent teen. He's a he's a grown dude. We're talking like a 24, 25 year old guy. He's a bit older than Cloud and Cloud is 21 in Final Fantasy 7 uh, remake. So he is this old uh, grown seasoned veteran guy. He's actually like 6'3 as well. He's a huge dude. He towers over Cloud. He's a really big guy. And the fact that they would cast, I think Caleb Pierce is his name, to voice this character really came out of left field. Um, I mean, I was just shocked when I played the ending of the game and saw Zack there. I had so many thoughts going through my head. But then when he spoke, I was like, how can this be the voice of Zack? This is nothing like Rick Gomez. If we compare, you know, Steve Burton to Cody Christensen, Cody Christensen does a good job of kind of taking on the aspects of Steve Burton that were really good and then implementing his own original direction in the cloud and it works amazingly well. But this voice change from Rick Gomez to Caleb Pierce makes absolutely no sense to me. It doesn't sound like the old voice for the character, which was spot on, I would have to say. In my opinion, Rick Gomez, perfect voice for Zack. Perfect in Crisis Core. I mean, somebody actually took the ending of Remake and put Rick, Gomez, Rick Gomez's edit into the scene, and I'll show it to you right here. Boy, oh boy. The price of freedom is steep. Embrace your dreams, and whatever happens, protect your honor. As soldier, come and get it. So yes, this was recorded all the way back in like 2008 for Crisis Core on the PlayStation Portable, and Lost Honor just took the voice clip and added it to remake because they're basically the same, and the mouth movements even match up pretty well. So now that you've seen the Rick Gomez edit, you know, the voice actor from Crisis Core, now let's re-watch the actual remake ending with the new voice actor, Caleb Pierce. Boy oh boy. The price of freedom is steep. Embrace 
chase your dreams. And whatever happens, protect your honor. As a soldier! Come and get it! Dude, I am not having that. Like, that is... When I first heard that, my skeleton left my body at how horribly bad that role, how horribly bad they casted that role, like holy shit. Like even just watching it now guys, like making this video for you, like I know I was being a dick, putting in those little like clips and stuff like that, but really like I cringe when I hear it. I'm not trying to be mean, it's just it's so awfully bad that I cannot help it. So in my personal professional opinion like if I was somebody who was working at Square and I I saw this happen just from the perspective of somebody who wants to appreciate good acting and take it seriously I would say you either have to bring back Rick Gomez or you got to get a new guy because this it's not I don't see any way anybody could play the dub if Zack is in this game and he's a prominent part all right so my next hope for Zack in Final Fantasy VII Remake Part Two would be a sort of diverging path gameplay aspect. Now, a thought came to me recently because I've been playing Final Fantasy VIII Remastered again. And if you've ever played Final Fantasy VIII, you know that there are two different storylines kind of happening while you're playing through the game. Now, Squall is the main character of Final Fantasy VIII, but also in certain points of the story, the characters collapse and they take control of Laguna and his party and the adventures that they go on in the past. Now, this made me think about how if they incorporated this into Final Fantasy VII Remake, it'd be extremely cool to see something along the lines of Zack being hired by Avalanche rather than Cloud. Uh, there's so many different gameplay aspects and character dynamics that could work from this. And it makes me chuckle and smile to think about Zack interacting with Barrett because he'd probably be killing him with kindness. Compared to Cloud, who is very standoffish and edgy, whatever he would say to Zack, it'd probably just bounce right off of him. Like, no big deal, no problem. And then, you know, there's also this element of Cloud being in the picture as well. So it wouldn't just be like, oh, you switch Zack out with Cloud because Cloud came with him to Midgar, right? So these two get to Midgar and maybe they do the Avalanche mission, maybe they go right to Aerith, maybe they go to Aerith and then they go to Avalanche, I have no idea, but there'd be so many cool character dynamics like Zack being with Aerith and rekindling that relationship, and then maybe Cloud focuses on Tifa and they rekindle that relationship. I mean, I've always thought that Cloud and Tifa were more of a thing than Cloud and Aerith. Fight me, I'm sorry, alright? But I think like there'd just be so much unexplored territory and so much potential in this that we would have this alternate story that would really be able to go in some diverging paths way different than Remake. Not just like using whispers and stuff like that, like using actual um, alternate variables to explore an extremely interesting new take on the story. So just those two points are the main things I wanted to sum up with my hopes for Zack in Final Fantasy VII Remake Part Two. Um, I know that with Remake, there's just all these different aspects and, you know, with the, the killing of the Whispers, there's these different variables that can happen in the main story and new events and stuff like that. But I think if we are switching it up and we're not doing a one-to-one -one Remake, like, this is something that I would love to explore. I would love to have, like, this new story of Final Fantasy VII with Cloud in them, leaving Midgar, but also I would love to just go back in time a little bit and at certain moments to experience what would happen if Zack was in the shoes of Cloud during the events of Final Fantasy VII in Midgar and whether, you know, Cloud would be his backup guy or they rekindle the relationships. I have no idea, but I can't get this idea out of my head. It's something that's bothering me and I, I would absolutely love to explore it. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. Let me know what you think, obviously. You can have a little chat about it in the comments, but I will see you next time and hopefully I'll be making more videos for you guys coming up. So thanks a lot. See you next time.